Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be installing this draw tight 76112 hitch onto the car. Before I get started, I'm going to clean up the hitch a little bit. They shipped it with just bubble wrap and no protection on the edges. So they got some scratches and some missing paint. So I'm going to sand those and clean that up and hit it with some spray paint. They actually gave me a discount because of that. Instead of having me ship it back and then shipping another one, they actually gave me a little discount to keep the one damaged, which is not a big deal. It's just paint and cosmetics, which nobody sees anyways but I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna install it but I'm gonna install it the method where I remove the bumper because I don't want to bend the tab that they recommend on their instructions to do it from draw tight they actually bend two tabs and it kind of screws things up and I, I just don't want to do that so I'm gonna just remove the bumper the bumper is pretty easy to remove so stay tuned So I ordered this baby on Amazon and look at the way they shipped it. They don't even have it in a box, they just kind of wrap it in some bubble wrap. Of course when it goes through FedEx or UPS or any of these shipping methods, that's what happens. These things get banged up and you lose a lot of paint around these edges. So I complained and they gave me a little bit of discount to keep it. It's no big deal so I'm going to go ahead and clean it up today just with a little bit of spray paint and some sanding before I put it on the car. So to remove this bumper, it's pretty straightforward. I had a video before where I showed you how to remove it, but it's just really these two screws right here. There's a screw on each side of the bumper and then a bunch of clips on the lower side of this thing that you get to and the bumper pops right off pretty easily. It actually gives you a little bit more room to install that hitch just because the bumper's not in the way while you're doing it. So here it is, a 76112. So on Amazon and other places, it lists this for the regular Sienna, but it says it doesn't fit the SE. But in, in truth, it does fit the SE. I've seen a couple pictures of people online and reviews where they actually installed it on the SE because the SE bumper is a little bit different. But yeah, see, you can see the extent of the damage right here, which is just really cosmetic paint here and along the edge on here, which might be prone to corrosion depending on where you're at in the US so yeah like here these areas and then over here where it's actually going to be up against the frame so I'm just gonna lightly sand this hit it with a little bit of paint just to protect the steel and that way it doesn't corrode on me later so they ship it with the instructions and the bolts and everything inside the hitch and it comes with new bolts right here 12 millimeter bolts I believe and the instructions to show you how to install it but it's pretty basic on how to install it and I'll show you in a second here on how to do it the most you really have to do is trim that lower plastic cover to get it to fit I'm gonna wipe some of the residue and all my sanding down with some acetone and then paint it Since most of these are just edges and I don't want to get too much overspray anywhere, I just cut a little slit and piece of cardboard just to get those edges when I spray paint them. So we got these babies painted as good as we can. All the cosmetic areas. This is a totally optional thing. Most of this stuff won't be visible once it's on the car. This is actually the hideaway one that you can't really see except for the hitch part right here. So yeah, pretty much all of this is going to be hidden under the plastic. The only reason why I was really coating it, like I said earlier, was to keep it from corroding on those little spots. But other than that, it's totally cosmetic and optional. <laughs> Removing this panel was a little bit harder than I thought. I forgot about all those clips on the back side over here that I had to release after I did those other clips, the screw clips. So that one you just need a big flat head or a big Phillips and just unscrew those because they screw into the 
mounts over there. For this piece, the instructions right here say you've got to trim it so they actually measure it out for you right there. So you line it up the center of your cover and then you just cut it. On the instructions, it goes kind of right between one of these right here. Measure it out, check it twice, and then cut that before you put it back on. So here, you can see a much clearer view of those four mounting holes. So yeah, they're just, they're just stickers. You just peel them right off. Once you peel them off, you expose the thread. And then you just line up your hitch to that using a helper or a jack and just start screwing those in. So for the bolts, make sure you use the lock washer and the flat washer. So the flat washer goes up against the frame and the lock washer goes on the head right there. And these are 19 millimeters. So just have your 19 millimeter ready and then start bolting them up. You wanna hand thread them in so you don't strip anything before you shoot them in with an impact or anything else. Since I don't have any help, I ended up having to use a jack with a piece of wood. I lifted it up right past those little clips that you have to bend if you were doing this with the bumper on, so that stays. So now I can tilt it up and start the threads on the bolts in there and then tightening it down with, by myself. Now that I've got everything kind of bolted in, I'm gonna shoot those on with the impact at a low setting and then go ahead and hit it with 75 foot pounds with the torque wrench when I'm done with this and we should be good with the install. Yeah, now we got it all mounted up, tucked in there, didn't even have to bend those tabs. Taking the bumper off made it a lot easier though. I couldn't imagine doing this with the bumper on by myself. So now what I have to do is measure out this panel right here, mark it up and then cut it out and then reinstall that and I'm finished with this install. So for the SE, the measurements were a little bit different than for that, the instructions, which is really for the regular one, just because of a different design bumper. So I had to trim it out a little bit further in compared to what the instructions said, but now it fits perfectly. These two clips right here line up on both sides, which is what you want to make sure that they do and that there's enough room for it to clear. So now I'm going to go ahead and just put everything back together down here. So we got this baby installed, nice and clean. Can't even tell there's a hitch on here. This is a huge upgrade from the old hitches that they used to sell for this car where you had the bar coming across the bottom. This one, all you have is the receiver that hangs below and everything else is tucked behind the bumper, which is awesome for this car. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in all the way to the end of this DIY video on installing that trailer hitch for the Sienna SE. As you can see, you can easily do it as a one-man job if you have the right tools, you have the jack and everything, which I did. I didn't really have anybody helping me, plus I was videotaping this, so it shouldn't take you that long if you do it uh, by yourself straight through. You know, the hardest part is probably taking off the bumper if you have never done that before. But luckily, I take the bumper off on this car all the time to do stuff, so it's second nature to me to do that. Anyways, if you guys found this video useful, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel for all my DIYs and other project videos I do on all my cars, go ahead and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys next time.